Okay, let's look at a multiplying one. Okay, my rule of that I always teach is my outside times my outside and my inside times my inside. So when you're multiplying, you're going to multiply the outside coefficients. So 6 times negative a half, well half of 6 is 3 and it's negative, so negative 3. And then I have the square root of, well let's multiply these, 7 times 7, which is 49. Okay, now I have a square root, so I need to see, does 49 break down? Well, 49 is 7 times 7, so yes, I have a pair, so I can bring that 7 out. And what do I do? I multiply it with a negative 3, so my final answer is negative 21. Okay, so there's how to multiply. Let's try a dividing one, okay? Well, we have 3 on top, root 3 on top, and a square root of 15 on the bottom. Those really don't divide, but I can reduce them. They're both in the radical, so just like up here, I can multiply inside the radical. I can also divide or reduce in the radical, since they're both in the radical. Well, I can take a 3 out of here and get a 1, and take a 3 out of here and get a 5. So I'm going to have the square root of 1 over the square root of 5. Well, we know the square root of 1 is perfect, so it's just a 1 over the square root of 5. Now, you would think you would be done, but you're not, because you can't leave a radicand in the denominator. So we have to do what we call rationalize it which just means multiply it times itself, so we won't have a radical on the bottom. It'll actually be a nice whole number. So root 5 times root 5 is root 25. And then on top, I have 1 times root 5. Whoops, I didn't leave myself enough room. So 1 times the square root of 25. So let's simplify that now. Okay, so this simplifies to just the square root of 5 on top. And then square root of 25 is... 5, and that's on the bottom. So notice we created a perfect square in the denominator. And that's all you do. And here's just a subtraction problem. Remember, you just combine the coefficients. So 4 minus 5 is negative 1, w to the 2 fifths, or you can write it as just negative w to the 2 fifths. Okay, hope this video, whoops, hope this video was helpful on helping you work through operations with exponents